New Girl on the Block is a girl who is willing to jump. A New Girl on the Block is a girl who's in transition and realizes that no matter the circumstance, there is always a way up and a way out. Today, we're going behind the scenes. So I've invited some of the girls that I mentor over to my place for brunch. We're gonna have a potluck. I have two speakers coming in. The simple message that I'm teaching all of the girls and women that I mentor is simply to never give up, never settle, because you simply don't have to. I saw your post yesterday. I was like, Yeah, and I mean, it doesn't have to be every day, but mix it up a little bit because nobody wants to see ads all the time. Money, money is not always important. All right, I'll hit you later. Where are we off to? Party room to set up. I don't know if I told you guys, but my roommate is an Olympic athlete. So yeah, like I'm surrounded by greatness all the time. That's the part where you're supposed to go gang, 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 gang. <laughs> no. I do one-on-one -on -one mentoring. What I like to do is every quarter, I do like a group meetup. So like all the girls can meet each other and see, oh my gosh, like she's going through the same shit I'm going through. It's gonna be a fantastic day, so stay tuned. All right, so what are we doing right here? Yes. I'm trying to teach Polly how to work my camera, you know? What advice would you have to people who don't have a steady hand? Go to the gym. Get used to holding heavier things. The cocoa butter on deck. My hands get crusty and my elbows get so dry. Keep your eye on the camera, not on the people you're filming. Why do you say all that? You could have just said, yeah, I got the cocoa fighting. No, here. because I get, that's why I use it. Where is everybody? Every time I come here, I usually park over here, but I just watch girlfriend there get a ticket. <laughs> Something told me not to park there today. Well, the story don't be cheap, man. Pay for parking, you don't wanna get a ticket. There's a lot of girls from different backgrounds in this room. We're gonna to get to know each other on a more personal level. So we wanna know your name. We wanna know why you decided to associate yourself with New Girl on the Block, and we wanna know what is your big ask. If you are truly a New Girl on the Block, what that embodies is exuding confidence, right? And walking into a room and killing every opportunity that comes at you, meeting people, saying hello, smiling at strangers, so when you stand up, I need you to stand up like you like you mean it. I just think you guys are awesome and I want you to know that no matter what, if no one else has your back, you can know that Saf and I have your back. And thank you guys for being here. Everyone good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> my name's Chelsea. I am a new girl on the block. My name is Jessica. Hey, hi everyone. My name is Kayla. Tell them your name. I am a journalism student at Ryerson right now. Hi everyone, my name is Natasha. So my name is Lorraine. Remember when you were her age? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Life was good, right? Life was good. <laughs> Simple, no bills, nothing. Uh, my big ask is I'm still in school, so a job. <laughs> so I guess my big ask would be more networking. I had this idea that I wanted to start a blog and it was something I was sitting on for a really long time. So I was like, okay, I need an accountability partner. Two of the most important days in your life are the day you were born and the day that you find out why. Find what you love to do and what you're good at and you get your passion. When you combine what you're good at and what you can get paid for, you get your profession. Well, today was amazing. Like, I felt like being in a room with just so many beautiful, young, millennial women that are just empowered. Like, this is what it's about. You can get stuck working in a profession that you don't like just because you get money. The passion, the mission, the profession, the vocation. It's the reason why you actually do things. Find a way to combine all of them together you will realize that they all kind of mean the same thing and you're all kind of going into the direction of the, your inner why. My name is David Lewis Peart. I am a college lecturer, a speaker, a writer. So pleased to be invited out by Safia and Pollyanna. The room was packed, lots of great energy, full of amazing women doing amazing things. And I was really uh, glad to be a part. I'd like you to just follow your breath. I want you to follow your breath in and through your nostrils. Watch it as it moves through the passageways of your abdomen. Notice the filling of your lungs, the rising of your shoulders. Whether you can appreciate this moment of the stillness or not. Just notice how your body, even in just this last minute, has relaxed. Anyone, anyone ever hear the law of attraction? I don't really believe in the law of attraction. 
but I do believe that like minds tend to gravitate towards one another. And you couldn't be here with them unless you were vibrating with them. Our beingness on this planet at this particular time is not just pulling air for no reason. You have value just as you are. You could have showed up today with no makeup on, no outfits on, no nothing, and you still have value and worth. You, just as you are, right where you are, have value and worth. There's nothing you need to get, no one you need to become, nothing you need to acquire or aspire to, that right where you are, just as you are, sat in this chair, breathing and listening to my annoying voice, Joan Arn, you are imbued with worth and value. Josie and David are two friends of mine. I really appreciate the people that they are. They have great energy. Very honored and happy that they are able to invest and pour into the girls and everyone was really impressed. But I think as a collective, the girls walked away feeling more empowered, more confident, and truly embodying what it means to be a new girl on the block.